just act like you walked in the room and now we have a new match. So who we got, Brad? And We've got Brad and Wayne Pullen. And uh, they've been waiting quite a while to play, so. On uh, one of the other tables, we've got Phil, uh, Tall Phil from Santa Monica, and and Frank. Going to play Frank Almanza. That's a loss, one loss side. And then Rigo's going to be playing Paul, and JB will be playing Santos. So those are those are our final eight players. Use the trays, Wayne. Uh, oh, yeah. Use the trays. Oh, I'm sorry. We have an extra player, and there was a match, be uh, a bracket that was behind one. So Kenny, uh, the owner here at Golden Q, he's going to be playing JB to see who plays Santos. There we go. The trays. Did you let him know about the trays? Yes. Did you tell him that I would yell at them and smack them around if they forgot? I kind of like that part. Just, you know. <laughs> I hope they forget. <laughs> hey, uh, three real. Is that better? What is box eating? Yeah. <laughs> is that a normal game you play here yeah. on the stream? <laughs> I'm on a diet. What's up, bro? Hi, baby. All right. Tough loss. Lose if you play that's that's, that's true. Brooke, box is on a diet, so we watch what Brox is eating. That's nice of them. They're looking out for you. No barbecue. No. Oh. No barbecue till next year. Good for you. No, seriously. That's gonna be hard. My dad uh, just started doing the Nutri, Nutri Bullet, and he just loves it. I could tell loves when I saw him last night. Looks good, right? Yeah. yeah. It looks good when I saw but he, him last night. But more than that, because he's getting all his veggies and fruits in, he felt better. That's good. Yeah. yeah. So apparently Brad has been surprising people today. Yeah, I heard that from Mike Whitehead. He beat, uh, Mark Whitehead, and he beat... Uh, oh, that was his own. That was it? Oh, Russ. Oh, Russ. No. Oh, he beat Russ. Mark C. I don't know who Mark, Mark C. C is. Yeah, I'm not sure who Mark C is, but... Oh, Mark Sherman. Oh, no. Snake's not here. Yeah, Mark Sherman. He's here? Yeah, he was. Oh. Until, until, uh, until, uh, he got beat. Brad beat him up. Well, dang it, I miss him again. Mark lost to um, Kenny Oshida as well. Well... Kenny's out. Lost no, no. Him. Kenny's going to play right now. Kenny's playing JB. Yeah, he's still... Match a uh, bracket behind. That's awesome. Yeah, Kenny's a, Kenny's a good one pocket player. Wow. <laughs> yeah. A lot of nine ball back around Kenny. Yeah. He says he doesn't get to play very much anymore, but I know when he does, he really enjoys it. Yeah, we um we come all of the same neighborhood together. You know, he come off of Crenshaw. <laughs> Kenny did. The what um, Tropicana? Did you go over to Tropicana yeah, back then? Tropicana too. But uh, he come out of Holiday I've heard Bowl. stories about those. <laughs> oh, yeah, my dad used to go there. Yeah, it was, it was a place to be. When I was a little kid, I went in there. I forget his name, but an old-time pool player, he, he got a plastic spider and freaked me out, and I wouldn't go into pool rooms for years after that. <laughs> yeah, Tropicana was uh, one of those places where you had to bring your A game and, and everything else. <laughs> Play, bring your A game and your uh, watch everything, your back. <laughs> But Kenny come off of Crenshaw, where we come from, and uh, he played a Holiday Bowl. Oh, okay. He come up with uh, Mike, Mike Ashida. Oh, okay. He come with Mike and Gary, Clyde. Clyde, yeah. All of them. He come up with them. Hmm? Stan. All of them come out the oh, same. okay. Yeah, all of them come out the same. Well, I've known Kenny a long time from here, but I didn't know his background, really. Yeah. This is going to be a good match. feeling I haven't seen Brad play a lot of one pocket but his game would seem like it lends itself to it a little bit yeah, I was just saying that to Daniel earlier you know who's Brad's nemesis was right oh. 
Roger. Oh. <laughs> yes, yes. Him and Roger used to have battles. He must be feeling lonely without Roger around. <laughs> i tell you what, uh, a lot of us do. Roger was good action. Always something going on with him. A little unsturdy, but good action. They're playing a pretty uh, defensive game at this point. Well, Wayne is going to play defensive. Going, well, yeah, unless he gets a wide open shot right. and he'll come for it. Uh -huh. I really wasn't expecting Brad to, to be this deep. Yeah. Yeah, that was a surprise. I, like I said, I spoke with Mark Whitehead, and he was he was surprised himself that yeah. that Brad had gotten Brad past. Brad is a nine ball player. Yes. And, he, and that's surprisingly, because the only time I've seen him play one pocket was against Roger. <laughs> and Roger don't play one pocket either. No, neither one. <laughs> I asked how Roger was doing, too. They said he's not playing any pool. He's in New Jersey. He's not playing no pool. I heard the New Jersey, too. I think his family's there or something? His mom, yeah. Good action, though. He's going to do a cross bank on this and try and stick him in the stacks. Wow, he hit it pretty good. That was a nice, nice cue ball for sure. You heard Wayne just told him you made a good shot. Yeah. A lot of times when you jack up like that, you hit it too lose, hard. He hit that control. real nice speed. That's right. Wow. Oh, Wayne gonna play the game. Wow. <laughs> Wayne gonna play the game with him. Yeah, Wayne, Wayne does some of my favorite things, which he, he really, uh, he sticks the cue ball. He does a lot of tucking and ducking with yeah, the cue ball. that's right. Uh, Daniel? He's an old school player. They're saying that there's some stuttering and buffering. We're, we're watching Wayne Pullen, and uh, I'm not sure Brad's last name. Neither am I, but it's Brad. Brad, he plays out of hard times, plays here. He's a local player, done good. Shark, are we okay? I think that's the best we got. Are you getting the feedback? Is that what they're hearing? Oh, that's going to cost him. Ask in the chat room if anybody else is getting Is anybody else having a problem or hearing anything off? Just let us know. Let us know and we'll we'll continue working on it. He barely missed getting to that rail. You got shot by me. He uses that little slip stroke, Brad. Yeah, yeah. that's what I was saying. I think it yeah. might lend itself to one pocket. <laughs> yeah, he uses a little slip stroke. Thanks, guys. They're saying it's okay now. Here is where you do your sacrifice right now. Yeah. Give him that ball and move whatever else you can. Oh my. That was super aggressive for Wayne. He must have had a bad angle on the on the, the play. Was trying to move that 15 the 15? <laughs> Yeah, I felt the same thing. I felt like he was going to try and bank the eight and go into the 15. And move everything. Yeah, and then he just stiffed it. Wayne knows the ball, so now he's even. We got yeah, an 0 0 at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, Brad came into that ball, so he's not going to have an easy to run here. Even though you're playing one pocket, you still have to have a pattern. You still have to have a way to the next shot. Absolutely. If he doesn't catch the six, he's got a, a clean shot on the six, and he That's can make right. some movement. But because he went into that, now he, he's really got to duck from here. Yes, he do. you got to still play your pattern no matter what. you got to play your pattern. 
It's kind of like eight ball. You hit a ball though, and you got to start all over. That's you need correct. a fresh pattern. That's right. You got to, you know, and that's why your stroke is so important. Table speed is so important, so oh, that you yeah. don't have contact with another ball. Ill advised. You don't want to do that. That was a, that was a nice shot. Is this dude playing above his head? It just I'm, you know, sometimes it all comes together. <laughs> That was a great shot right there. I know there. Wayne. I mean, I know Brad a long time. Never seen this level of play. There we go. It's hard to see anyway, but at yeah. least it's up there. Yeah. No, one to nothing. I've never seen this level of Brad. I'm, yeah, I'm super impressed. Like like you said, I don't think I've ever seen him play one pocket. Mm -hmm. He's been hiding out, practicing somewhere. He had to be. He has to. Nobody just comes out of out of the out of the gate like that. Yeah. No, not Brad. He's very methodical too. So it would, on this side too, the it, side? Would, it would surprise me that he hadn't been practicing and, and you know he doesn't want to come out of the out of the gate looking. Watch the stroke and watch how that slip, that slip stroke. Watch. Oh yeah. He let the whole stick slide. Yeah, he's got a real loose stroke to yeah. it. But you know, sometimes the, 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 the discipline that you play, you wind up playing another very well. You know, because we've seen him play nine balls so much, he's catching us off guard with this one pocket play. Absolutely. And I know it sounds funny, but like it seems like the older you get, the more one pocket appeals to you, because it's more about a cue ball. Which as you get older, you you get Brooke, better and better at. Brooke, are you playing? With my, are you playing with my age now, Brooke? <laughs> I'm playing with my age now, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but you're right. A lot of people, once they get older, the subtleties of one pocket are more inviting. When I started playing, I thought one pocket was just a terrible game. I didn't understand what mm -hmm. what it was going on. And as I was around the pool room more and, and saw the, the levels of play, mm -hmm. I realized just how much goes into the, the, the cue ball and the, mm -hmm. and the thought process yeah. of it. You see a lot of, and you know this already, but a lot of one pocket players love chess. Yeah, yeah. A lot. Yeah, it's the same, you know, it's the chess of pool for sure. You're, you know, it's, do I give up that's, my queen? Do I, right. you know, do I that's go right. ahead and go that's risk right. my pawn? What do I do? Exactly. Same thing. I was talking to Chris a little bit before uh, this match, and we were talking about that the reason I watch One Pocket is because I want to learn the little moves. I'm not going to watch Shane or, mm -hmm. or those guys and, and learn how to be a, a, a run-out shooter, but I can watch Wayne and I can watch even Shane at One Pocket, and I might learn one or two little things to do with the cue ball that make me a better player. Well, you know, I was talking about that earlier, how uh, power One Pocket is what you're talking about. You make a ball run into the stack and run out. Yeah. That's power one. Yeah. Pocket, which is the eight and out style, exactly. which is not my favorite and, game. Uh, we were talking about it earlier. And um, as you know, Scott Frost is very popular with the power one pocket. Yes. But, and um, and his his uh, videos are actually pretty good. I uh, enjoyed, you know, getting a little out of those. We was talking about it earlier that that's not the new part. That's what power one pocket has always been around. Yeah. But, they think it's a new invention, exactly, but it's, it's but how it's everybody not. used to play it. Exactly. Now, for me, I love the subtle parts of this game. Me too. I love the subtle parts. But I like to play somebody who is a, a, a power player because different styles make different games. Yeah. yeah. And uh, a well, lot of times the challenge of stopping a power player from shooting is the challenge for a subtle player. And part of it is combining the, the, the power play and the subtlety. Because obviously you're going to have to run out at some point. Mm -hmm, but you mm -hmm. shouldn't be taking that risky shot. That's mm -hmm. all I'm saying. Like okay. Some of these guys take a little riskier shot than I think they're supposed to. In Power One Pocket, you got a lot of guys who put on a, a lot of, I don't want to say, a lot, of, a lot of strength in the shot. They hit the balls very hard and move the balls around. They don't. Yeah, it, the subtle part of the game is just never create. touching another ball. You're you're That's creating right. your pattern as opposed to like restructuring the entire table to That's suit correct. you. 
and in, in, in an old school one pocket, you're placing balls where you want them to be and you're playing to the ball. In power one pocket, it's like, give me a shot and I'm gone. Yeah, and that's, yeah. It, like, it, I don't learn a lot from that. I appreciate the guys that can run out like mm -hmm, that, mm -hmm. but it's not the style of one pocket I prefer to watch. Right, right, right. And we got some old school one pocket going on right here. Yeah, They're playing know. real tight. Yeah, they are. Uh, Chris was saying they do have the four balls passed. The fifth ball will spot up. Is that what they're playing here? That's that's what he he's okay. told me before. We haven't, uh, we haven't had that uh, happen. Uh, it's, it's getting at all a little close here, so yeah, I was I just. Uh, <laughs> I that's why I'm looking now. But There's we only had two that back there. Up. This guy's stroke. I've been always watch this stroke. How he lets that stick go completely in his hand like that. Every time I try to do that, I, the cue just flies out of my hand. <laughs> I don't know how he does that. Well, Frank Almanza is still battling with Phil over there, and we got uh, JB and Ken still battling too. See, that's a shot I wouldn't expect him to know, and he knew it. Yeah, he walked up knowing the shot. He didn't, he looked at it. He, knew uh, it. he took a little time, but he, it wasn't like he looked around I wasn't to think he wasn't going to shoot. Shot. Well, that, that kick earlier I was surprised by yeah. as well. Yeah. I'm surprised to see uh, Frank the Barber here without Foch. Yeah, we were asking about that. I haven't heard what's yeah. going on this year. Maybe at another event or up visiting his son or something. Yeah, true. And then everybody's looking forward to the uh, Mez event next weekend. Uh, which will be at Plush Pockets. Northridge. I'll be there, I think. Me too, I think. <laughs> In fact, I have uh, my daughters live down the street in Plush Pockets on Balboa. Oh, real close. Yeah. So I, uh, I may be there. It's a lot of, it's a lot of, this particular game, some people call it slow and cake, watch it. I love watching a game like this because I can see what their each player is doing. I can comment on it, I can see it, I can see it developing, I can, you know. See what they're trying to, exactly. the pattern they're trying to play out for themselves, I Who's agree. Who's got the strength? This is the part I like. Mm -hmm. And for Brad to be tangling with Wayne. Oh, he's he's keeping holding his own. I'm gonna go to Mark after this and tell him he should that he shouldn't be surprised yeah. if this is how Brad played against him. He's ain't no reason to be surprised about that. Mm -mm. He can beat anybody playing this level. This dude here, he's throwing rabbits out his hat. That one was a little lucky there. <laughs> well, the one ball, yeah, but the rock is where he was trying exactly. to put it. Exactly. The rock is where he was trying to put it. And Wayne put him right back yeah, in the stack. Yeah, that's, that one, Wayne putting put it behind right the stack in, is, right is a little dangerous. <laughs> right in there. Yeah, Rigo just got back from somewhere. He's going to go warm up. He's going to be playing Paul. I wonder what kind of stick that is he's playing with. <clears throat> uh, I can't tell if he's on that two ball or if Wayne can see the four to, to do something with it. Looks like he's playing off the two. He just always has it right on that rail where it makes it difficult to do anything with that cue ball. Hi. This is a cue that a cue maker from Houston gave to me. To what? Oh. Oh, this is Rigo. He's going to be playing Paul. He's still on the winner's side of the tournament, and we were all curious about his cue, so I thought we'd ask him. Any o. Any o. Yeah. 
and he was saying a cue maker from Houston gave it to him. It's a very beautiful cue. Um, I've had it for about uh, 13 years, I think. Yeah. And it's doing a good job for you. Do you know the guy still make cues? Does he still make cues? I really don't know because I moved from Houston over here about 10 years ago. And uh, I really don't know what happened. Nice. This is this lady. Thank you. A lady cue maker. Annie O. Hello. <laughs> Actually, I have another friend up in San Diego, Nellie. She makes great cues. Um, a lady made the cue. Now, just because you're sitting here, Brooke, I don't know. <laughs> but I tell you what. You can dog on them all you want. That's a, that's, no, that's There's two lady cue makers out of all the ones I know. That's not a, not a huge had, number. Just today, the conversation I had in the chat room was along these lines. I like to see more ladies play one pocket. Me too. Uh, the cue making part, I'd love to see that too. But I'd like to see the decision making of some of the women that would play one pocket. And you and I both know, we know some women that could probably play the game. Yeah, I, I only know a handful of women that enjoy the game. Um, a couple play my speed, and they just they enjoy the subtlety like we were talking mm -hmm. about. A couple play very good. But for the most part, most women, when I try and get them involved in one pocket, they, they don't have the patience for it. They, mm -hmm. just, they just don't enjoy it. And I don't want to force it on anybody. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I would love to see them play. Yeah. I'd love to. It's, it's, it's still an old school. One Pocket's kind of the last uh, bastion. Frontier. Of it. Yeah. yeah. Last of the frontier, yeah. I kind of got in because of dad, and I just I mm -hmm. stuck my foot in and said, you can't get rid of me. But <laughs> for the most He was surprised part. when I walked up to him yesterday, too. Hey, hey. I said, come on down. Yeah, he told me. He's like, he was all excited. He's like, yeah, Box invited me himself. So. <laughs> He's sorry he missed it today. Yeah. You, you come on, but I, I was really impressed with his play against King Kong. Oh, that was really, a great match. Uh, really and impressed. he just loves to beat him, too, you know. I mean? Oh, I, well, you know, they got history. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I was, uh, I was a little surprised he, he got through Phil. Phil was my surprising one. He played better against Kong, but Phil, I, was, I really thought Phil would just come out and well, you know, Phil doesn't play as much as he used to. And he goes, no he's, he's a little aggressive, too. Right. He'll go for shots where he knows to play safe, but he goes ahead and goes for That's it. That's right. I think that particular day, your dad was just on the roll. And he'd been playing on that table, so he had a little more mm -hmm. stroke into mm -hmm. it and things. That was a nice little layup here by Wayne. Well, Wayne is trying to set little traps. He's testing him. And Seeing uh, how much he really knows. Exactly. And what happens is... Do you give up this ball? Which one, the deuce ball? Yeah. Is there a way to play safe behind it, or do you just try and do a one rail bank into it and hold and you always want right, the little side rail bank? You always want to pocket that ball. It's it's no a tough what shot. You do, if you miss, he can use that ball to get another ball to get another ball. Right. That unless um, you can stick the ball behind another ball and play safe. It's funny how often I'll see the long rail kick at it. Mm -hmm. But I won't see, the, they, a lot of times they don't do the short rail kick at it, and it surprises me. He went ahead and went for it. He's trying to hide it. It's short. Can I say? No, definitely. That's all I get. It's hard to get through me, but if you want to lay it, almost my home, girl. <laughs> 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 Hello, my director. <laughs> and that's what you were talking about. Now he played it right through the two, left himself a great shot on the two, and he can do a lot with this cue ball. If he wants, he can roll it, take the five bank. He can really run it and get up there for the six to be ball. Very careful when you. Uh... That's a little short. Just a little short for whatever he was trying to do. You will really sacrifice to pocket that ball than to shoot at a ball and not sacrifice and give up three balls. Yeah. A minimum of three, really. Mm -hmm. Wow, he got a little unlucky not to go ahead and catch that five, I think. He was trying to get it. Yeah. He was trying to move that five ball out of it. Yeah, because if he catches it, he can either have a shot off of it 
or if he catches it real good, he runs up and he has the right. 12 ball. Yeah, if he could have knocked it out, he would have rather knocked that ball out than yeah. to be shooting at another and ball. He's, and he's hooked on it from where he's at. He missed wow, that. he didn't hit that ball. Yeah, he missed that. I think, I think he missed it and, and sold straight out on the five. It looks like from the TV angle. If he could have got him behind the 15, sometimes if nothing else, if you can just double or triple him up. That's right. And that's what he tried to do the first time. The score is three to three. And Phil uh, beat Frank, so that moves him out one more. Oh, he missed it. Brad missed that shot. Four is this count. I'm gonna I'm I'm just tell you, I'm gonna keep it real. I saw the pocket move. Now, maybe nobody else saw it. <laughs> but I saw it. <laughs> 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 you ever notice that when you miss them, they don't roll, they don't drift into the hole? It's, always, it's, it's always when you make it, it moves away. That's absolutely true. Unless it's the cue ball. That cue ball drifts right into the hole every time. <laughs> we got Paul and Rigu coming up right here on table six. Needs one. See, that's what we were talking about with the JB shot. He stayed down. He stayed committed. It was all about making the ball. Paul. 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 Use the table. Use the table because if it tips over, we're going to have them. Yeah, thank you. Oh, it looked like he needed two there because he went for another shot after. Wayne needs one. Right, but he made that 15. He needs one. They both had four to four while you they didn't pocket the ball while you was off the mic. Wayne has seven and uh, Brad has four. It's an interesting predicament. He's looking at that three real hard because I think he, it looks like maybe he could bank at it and hold the cue ball to the rail. So, but he so got to be careful of leaving three. it straight back. See the straight oh back. yeah, the nine or the eight. Straight That's a back. bad shot. He should be looking at just move out the twelve. I can't see the angle, but I don't wonder if he's thinking about stopping the three ball. Even if he stops the three ball, there's stuff to do. Yeah. You, you don't know what's going to happen with the He's three take a shot at unless it. he makes the three. He's going to take a shot at it and stop. Wow, that was that was just a, a bad shot. Which that was called a effort shot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Maybe you know well we were we've been complimenting is is sudden knowledge in one pocket, but at some point the fact that he doesn't play all the time has to hit him. Yeah. This one's over. That's going to put Wayne up one to nothing. Right. Wayne wins the first one. Must be Wayne's break. I don't understand what poor man's trying to say. No way get on in New York stream bad. Poor man, no telling what he's talking about. And that was off of Brad's break, by the way. So now Wayne's got a, a really strong advantage here. Hey, you know what I like about that table there? 
They're using the wood rack. I love a wood rack. I don't like the plastic rack. See, I, I just started playing the straight pool, and that's the only thing I could say is that with the plastic rack, because it's so skinny, you get a better, a little better opportunity to have some breakout balls. But that's all I can see that for the me, plastic rack think, is better for. I think the, the wood rack locks the balls better. Depends on the wood. Mm -hmm. Oh, you talk you heard you talking on uh, Paul and Rigo are playing over here and Rigo just broke in a ball and ran seven <laughs> he and he had a shot on the on his eighth ball and and missed it so uh, but he left Paul behind the rack so it'll be an interesting game from here <laughs> okay <laughs> poor man so you heard me say that that pocket moved huh <laughs> He said it's the salt. <laughs> True story. <laughs> no salt no more. I'm through with the salt. <laughs> Paul's going to do some crazy kick might into well. the thing. He's in a bad spot, way behind. He might as well. He's got no shot to do anything with the 11. What are we looking for? The mouse. Let's see. Let's see if we can pick up that game. Some parts of that game. Yeah, that's still us. He's got it all aimed at the other table. I see. That's kind of a good angle right there. You can see better here. Paul went for a crazy shot and locked him to the four. He might have a shot, but it's it, it was funny. Here, this is the, the one we're looking at now. Yeah, so that's, that's, Brad and, that's Brad, Brad and Wayne. And, uh, and I think that's all for the break yeah, right there. That's the break. That's why I was just showing you a different angle of it. And that's a, He's got that's a, a wide there. open break, so it's real hard to play protect behind this. I wonder what he's going to shoot at. Looks like the nine ball. Try and thin it. Oh, no, he's doing something different here. Or he's going to thin the 10 ball and go between the two balls. Um, yeah, good that's shot. not a bad shot at all. Good shot. Very good shot. Great control on that cue ball not to lose it. Lose it. Mm -hmm. I know Wayne has to be wondering what's going on. <laughs> he has to be. Because this dude here has never been, in, never, never, ever been in that level. But that just goes to show, you know, it don't take much. Stack has videos, and you can learn how to play everywhere now. It's, it's good. Well, it's not like, I mean, he's a, Brad's a good nine ball player, mm -hmm. so he pockets balls. And he's been around a long time, so he's going to have some good cue ball knowledge. Mm -hmm. it, takes, mm -hmm. it just takes a little matter of practice. And I think more than anything, it's the constant thinking that wears you down in one pocket. You, ha you're always, you always have to be on your guard. So it's the thinking wears you down more than playing. Yeah. That's why a lot of times they go for that risky shot because uh, they tired. just get tired of thinking. Mentally tired. Another great shot by Brad. Even got the cue ball where, I mean, Wayne probably could have cut in that ball, but it's a, it's a tough shot. He's got a decision to make right here, though. What to shoot after this? Looks like he's shooting like he could sell out. He could sell out if he miss. This he did shoot a combo. Very risky, but he hit it mm -hmm. like he meant it and went all for it. So, uh, I tell him all the time, when you're going to shoot at the shot, stay committed. If you're going to shoot it, stay committed. Go yeah. ahead and shoot it. That's that's my new thing I'm working on is just if I decide to play a safe, if I decide to play a shot, 100% to that, that's whatever right. I've decided. That's right. Don't change my mind halfway. Stay committed. That was, that was, that was a, a hard right shot. shot. But that was a right shot. It was a good shot. And it's not like, he, there's no easy ducks to Wayne's hole. He's, he's going to roll, but with that ball sitting in Brad's pocket, it makes every shot you're shooting a little bit harder. Mm -hmm. Well, not for Wayne. Wayne does oh. this. 
you know, Wayne does this. This is what he, he does. He got unlucky with that, though. He got unlucky with that seven ball locked up on the 15. Yeah. And he didn't get out far enough to shoot the 11. Now you know what the shot is here? Bank the four ball That's and catch right. that 14. That's right. See how smart I am? That's the shot. <laughs> He's looking at the combo. Well, we can't see how on it is. It's off. It's off by quite a bit. No, he's looking at that fork. Yeah. I know a lot of better players will go for some crazy shot, but I, I just feel like live to fight another day. That's right. No. He hit that too hard. He hit it too hard, but he, he didn't sell out anything, and he opened up those balls in front of his hole. So. He said you didn't want to open the balls. He should have had a target. Anytime you shoot a shot like that, one or the other ball has to be a target. That you're aiming for. That you're aiming for. And you move that ball to the pocket. That's icy. So if he hit it a little softer, that 11 would have hung up better. And the rock would have this stayed way further down. Up. That way he would have protected his side of the table. That's and Now, Brad can move balls from his side of the table. That's a great thought process. I never thought about A lot of times I do a similar shot where I'm just, I know I'm going that way. But if I can identify a, a, a target ball, that, that, that's very helpful. And the target ball doesn't necessarily have to be a ball that you can move to the pocket. In Just this where you want to aim to. In this particular shot, he could have moved the ball to the pocket, or he could have played for the kiss, which is a target too. But the main thing is to protect your side of the table. Yeah, because the cue ball came up enough now that Brad is able to make move some balls. kind of move. That's yeah. Right. So when he got in contact with the 14 ball, he wanted the, st the rock to stay there. Nice. And if the rock stayed there, then he wouldn't have this opportunity. I like that, yeah. I'm going to use that, the that's, target ball approach. That's, that's really right. good. That's right. Wow. And he made the 11. Good shot. Brad's off my list of people I can play. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, if he, if he pulls this off, and he just made a, a great, this that move, sure the ball's did. way in his advantage. You see, just those last two shots, you can learn a little something because what happened and what didn't happen is what you want to learn. And by right. Wayne He came up too high. That's right. And he didn't play protect on his balls. That's right. And allowed Brad that opportunity. That's correct. That's the discipline of this game. It really is, and it's hard. If you don't like the game, it's hard to teach people that. That's what I'm saying. Like, I can't make, I can't make my girlfriends come and want to play because it's like if you don't, they're just going to shoot out at stuff. I right. can't make them right. stop and take a minute and, and see. Yeah. yeah. You see, and some people are not ready for it, but you happen to be sitting here and saw the difference. Yeah. You see, so that that right there cut your light on, you know. I'm sitting up here, and I, I, I used to run tournaments. Where I've had, like, two people already come up and be like, hey, I won that match. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Chris. Come on. <laughs> so we got JB moved on. He beat Kenny uh, Hashida, and he'll be playing Santos. Oh, he beat Kenny? Yeah. So Chris will be hunting down Santos. And remember, those uh, one-loss sides are a race to one. Mm -hmm. So anything goes on those. Which is why I like to play these tournaments, because I can beat some people on the race to one. True. One pocket, you have to have mental stamina and physical stamina. Yes, because it's an endurance game. And I have seen when Efren, he was there, when Efren played Bobby Emmons. Oh, yeah. I uh, called that game. And then he played Santos. And he had been on his feet 16 hours. Bobby. Bobby. Mm -hmm. And right in the middle of the match with Santos, you could just you see saw him all break the down. energy. You see it all break that, down. That's about when I showed up. I missed the Efren portion. And I came in for the Santos match. And I was like, they're all talking all this great stuff about this kid. Because I saw him as he started to break, break down. down. That's right. That's right. He was breaking down. And when he broke down... Oh, he, he broke, broke completely. Quick. Yeah, yeah, he broke quick. I um, I would, and you got to have, you know. Well, sixteen hours is a long time, though. Yeah, but so. just a bottle of water in a Reese's, you just don't. You got to 
put something in there. You need some fuel. <laughs> you, know? you need some protein. Get yeah. some peanuts. Get yeah. a you know something. Yeah. People, even you know one of the best <laughs> sounds funny is but a banana helps yeah. you. It gets you your vitamin K. Helps you so you don't get any like cramps or anything. And it, and it gives you a good. It's it's not a great sugar. You know mm-hmm. it's the. But, it, but it's a good sugar, so it keeps it's an even high instead of uh, yeah, a, a candy high. bar or right. something like that right. that gives you. It's very important to take care of your nourishments. And uh, you know this too when your dad was playing uh, uh, King Kong, I, I called you, hey, yeah, get up here. Yeah, we got him he some need, Gatorade and he some needs water. something to drink. I mean, I could see it in him, you know. Oh, I, I thought he was going down. He I, looked, didn't, I didn't want that to happen right there because he was so close to winning. He was so excited, and I yeah. said, "Dad, look, I'm real proud of you, but yeah. you, you gotta know, like, if you get to a limit, you gotta, you gotta stop." That's right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but after that, <clears throat> after we got him that water that you, you called me for, he he perked right back up. Oh, he was ready to go. Yeah. Does well, he's played endurance for a long time. You know, you think you can still do it. You get a little older, it no. makes it a little tougher. But and if, in fact, at the end of that match, I said, "Boy, what a bottle of water do." Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but, but I try to carry like a protein bar in my bag and I try to have a, I have a couple protein drinks that I'll put in water and just to give me a little wake up call. And you and, need uh, that sometimes. You need that. In, and and I don't body like to needs eat, energy. I don't like to eat while I'm playing. It's too, it weighs you down. So I try to have something a little lighter. <clears throat> Excuse me. They're going to have somebody watch. They're going to cr- call Chris over because he's, he's shooting right into these balls and it's real close. Yeah. Oh, that was a good hit. In those, I've um, I've started going just one, two, three in my head because I do that flyer shot a lot. And if I just know when I'm going to do it, it kind of calms me down and allows me to make a full shot. Well, that's part of your routine. You have to have a routine. When you get close, it makes it a little scary, though. I, yeah. I get a, You get tense. You do but something. So you can't change your routine because yeah. you're close. Well, I shoot one, yeah. two, three anyway, but that's right. But just saying now, it, it kind of. Let me see. Me. You shoot one, two, three. I, sh- I do. Is I sh- there <laughs> anybody around you that shoots one, two, three? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what you're trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly how he shoots one, two, three. <laughs> I, I have no idea. I don't know. <laughs> I had um I had somebody try and give me more strokes. They wanted me to get to five or seven, and it threw off my entire rhythm mm-hmm. and what like it was a couple of guys showing well, that's me because you've been watching for your, a long your time. particular player play so well yeah. at with that same one two three technique there's no sense in changing it especially yeah. if you adapt to it yeah and, and if you need some <clears throat> help usually it's not uh, changing your whole well at the time i was changing my approach so they were trying to like go over the whole mm-hmm. realm of it and um but it was funny because one of the other guys goes, Brooke, just shoot at one, two, three like you do. And I just made it like five times in a row. And they're just like, yeah, stick with that. Don't do it just improve on the technique. That's yeah. All. Just be consistent. It's That's like you're all. saying. You just want to commit and be consistent. Exactly. Now you have uh, Phil. Yeah, I mean, uh, Santos and JB. Yeah, they're on table four. Mm-hmm. And Phil's waiting for the, the JB Santos. No, the lose loser of Paul and Riga. Oh, yes, 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 yes. You're right. Correct. I just, I, I can't, I know I keep saying it, but I'm just so impressed with Brad's game. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I, I agree. I'm flabbergasted. I, I agree with you. And that's not to take away from him. Oh, no. I, yeah. I'm, that's to give it yeah. to him yeah. for sure. Looks like he's got enough balls up table. Makes it tough to do any kind of banks. But he's looking at that seven real well, hard. Well, for me, my theory is any ball above the side pocket is out of play. Any ball above the side pocket is out of play. That's just my interpretation. 
above, uh -huh. out of play. Below, in play. I don't, I don't know about that mm -hmm. shot. Did he get up where he can't see the seven? He was going to try to get it up here. Trying to top. get it up higher. That would have been a good shot because he doubles him. It doesn't allow him to see that seven ball and forces this here. Forces Phil. This I mean, forces Wing. That's Brunswick Avenue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he can see that. That was a good shot. That's one of my favorites. Even in nine ball, I like to shoot that shot because it allows me to bring that cue ball all the way back up. And if I miss it, it tends to leave them a tough mm -hmm. shot. Wayne jumped up on that shot. He He's feeling up. the heat. Yeah, Wayne jumped up on that shot. Seven balls on the table. Oh, they used the tray this time. We uh, seven we balls on box the table. threatened Brad. <laughs> and uh, Brad has six. Wayne has two. And remember, this is off of Wayne's break, so that yeah. that is a little surprising. Mm -hmm. And Wayne laid down that great break, yes, but Brad did. made a, a very nice. Uh, Recovery. Recovery. <laughs> I'm enjoying the heck out of it. I'm learning stuff from Box and oh, uh, we watching go. stuff. Don't start that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did. The target ball is yeah, huge. That's yeah, going to be yeah, very yeah, helpful. It is, it is, it is. Even when you put, even when you're banking on a bank combination, yeah. a lot of people don't realize you got to have a target. Wayne laid that up, but uh, Brad should be able to take it out. Two, four, six. We need the shot. Yeah. Ball count. Brad six. Wayne two. Brad six. Yeah. Brad six. But Wayne pulled off the win for the first game. I don't like that shot. I would have done something with the four. Maybe he didn't see a takeout, but it... it, it I gave him the four ball to that four ball. Yeah. It's going to hurt you. Yeah. And now and he can get another ball after the four that ball. That five ball is just a super tough shot. Right. You really have to catch that rail first and spin it. Now, this isn't an easy shot either, no. but you can just run it and play a safety. Kind of put it to the middle of the, of the table and run the cue ball. He's going to have to... Oh, he's going to kick it. No, he's going to hit it straight ahead. So, he tried to clip it and hang it there. Tried to hit it straight ahead. I see. Tried to, trying to hit it and come into that point and stick. And just leave it there. Yeah. And the ball come out, and he couldn't get that done. But he had a bad angle for it. That was he, he was forced, kind of forced an angle, I think. Now he's got two, four, six, seven balls on the table. Mm -hmm. He's back to where it was. He needs six. He can, well, he, he's got the, I don't know if the three goes past, but if that three goes past, he's golden. Even without the three, he can just shoot that 15 and roll up a bit. What's wrong with the 13 ball? I don't think the 13's out of the whole kitchen. I think the 13's in the kitchen. Is it? Yeah. Are we supposed to look? Are we not supposed to look? <laughs> no, you know, he's doing this thing. Watch this. Huh? Wrong What's shot, it? bro. Did you get a strider angle He was supposed it? to shoot the four ball and bring the rock back up the table. See it? Yeah, I see it. supposed to shoot the four ball, bring the rock. Because I even if you, you even if you hang the four ball, He's your 15's playing protect on you, every, or the three or whatever you get up behind. And if you make it, you still got access to another shot. And it's always tougher. It's always easier, I should say, for your opponent if you have a ball in the middle of the table like the four ball. Yeah, you want to shoot the four ball first. Oh, I don't know about this one. Right now he's just hanging on. 
and he knows it mentally, so it's starting to. He's making some some errors to, I don't yeah, expect from it's him. Starting to bother him now. <clears throat> See, this is one we were talking about. He's got to just commit to make this ball if that's what he's shooting. Don't worry about nothing else. Put this in my string. I'm going to tell you in a minute. Oh, I wouldn't shoot it, but I'm just saying if he's going to, you got to shoot it wholehearted. There's the mistake. See? That ball is Yeah, mistake. that's why you can't shoot that shot. And, and that's... Because that three ball is a tough shot and you do have to commit just to making it, that's why you don't shoot it, because you can't spin that rock to get underneath there. Watch the pattern of mistakes. Here's what happens. Wayne made a mistake because he was under mental pressure. Brad's thinking, I'm finna, I'm finna show him I can beat him he came. like this. That's not the way You got to play the smart. It, it, right. it takes you, when somebody else makes a mistake, you still have to stay on your that's path. That's right. That's right. You have to stay in the box. Wayne came up a little <coughs> short on this three ball, too. He's a little, little, well, little dude, short. is okay because he can. Oh, he'll make the up. angle, but I know he wanted yeah. to be just a little more up. Exactly. Come up there and get the 13 ball. Yeah. Come there he goes. The Very good ball. shot. Mm -hmm. Now you can just make the 13, and he'll have the four, and then mm -hmm. he'll have to work out the rest from there. Now, me? I still might not shoot the 13 ball. Might play a little tuck behind the uh, the two balls up there. Both of those balls go to his pocket. Kiss. Oh. The 14 goes to his pocket. Kick it into it. And the three and the six ball goes to his pocket. He hit that pretty good. See? That's not a bad shot. He got him. I don't move both of them pockets. Pushed him this way. This so way. you're getting him on your side. That's the right. plus minus. And the rock still be on this side of the table. He still can't move. He he can't shoot a four ball or anything else. Yeah, you're doing a bit of the plus minus there. A lot of people don't don't uh, take into account That's much. Right. Play the game smart. Some people play the game and make the game hard. I'm not. I'm not sure what was what was his. Do you, can you fathom what his intention was there? See, <clears throat> do you think he was trying to stop it? I don't know. Here's what happened. <coughs> You have to know your ball count. If you got six balls, why and your opponent only has two? <laughs> Rigo and Paul are playing, and Paul was so concentrating on his out that he didn't realize he'd gotten to eight already. So we've got a, a race to one on the other win, uh, winner side match. So when he was, he's got six balls. And when you got six balls and your opponent has two. You got to play a different you game. Don't, you don't take the chance and move the ball. Give it to him. You still got three ball difference. Yeah, you're way ahead. Take He's got to go to six. You got to go to two. Roll that so ball up. Ball. Just leave him down on that rail. Give him the ball and play from there. You're not gonna be, he's not going to be able to do anything. With, there was no balls in play that made That's that a right. bad shot. That's right. Should have just gave him the ball. Understand that shot. But, uh, he was just trying to leave the cue ball on the bottom. wasn't Looks like he wasn't quite sure what to do and just left him left the rock tough. I see six balls on the table. That shot I like. Even though he he table. leaves him with that six ball. It's super tough shot from where he's at, and it moved those balls. Now all those balls are pretty to for Wayne. If he doesn't make this ball, he, right. he's in bad shape. I might try to just freeze him up. I'm not sure if he has a good angle for that. Just try and lock him up to that 14. I believe the score is still five to three. Five to four. Wow. Six balls on the table. Brad scratched once. Right. Five to four. Him not yeah, taking the right be. shot. It's a three ball switch. Because well, Brad had six. It just cost him right here too. That's right. All he needed to do, you shoot that six out, you play up to the 14. Even if you just leave him behind the 14, he's got no straight in shot to shoot. That's right. Now now Wayne's making it's some air. ball switch. He went from having six balls, six to two. 
to have him. It's about to be five to five. five. And Wayne is still shooting. Nice shot. Six yep. to five. Wayne just took the lead. He's having to make some tough shots. His cue ball's a little bit sketchy, but he's he's firing in the balls when he needs to. There was no need to put that kind of force on the ball. Now he's got to roll it. Oh, they're saying the stream's down. In New York, 1,500. And that's where the the lack of play kind of gets you. You start you see him kind of cracking a little bit under the pressure. We were just talking about that. And you got to remember, I'm gonna use everything I can against you. Everything I can against you. Everything I know about you, I'm gonna use it against you. Absolutely. I'm gonna use it. Wayne is on the hill. Yeah, this will. If he makes this, he'll he'll take the game, the match. Brad had this game. Oh. Whoa. Brad had this game. It looked like he had both games, and then Wayne just did a couple of good things and took it over, and Brad made some mistakes. <laughs> yeah. No. Well, it was close. But the, Still close game. the games yeah. were very close. Brad, yeah. Brad, he came with some shots. Yeah, the one shot, right? He surprised. He yeah. surprised you, didn't yeah, he? Off Wayne? your break, off your break. That was a great recovery from your break. <clears throat> he surprised you, didn't he? Wayne? Yeah. Yeah. He surprised us. <laughs> uh, most likely, next up on the stream will be the winner of Santos and JB versus Brad, depending on uh, which games finish. We've also got uh, Paul and Rigo. They're 1-1 one, one at the time, at this time. Right there. And now we have them on camera for you. They're very close to us though, so it's hard to talk. <laughs> Safety first. <coughs> That's right, especially around here. Get out of the way. Start a new. 